Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Mackenzie and I am here representing, whoops, gotta get my sign up, representing YogaPod Fort Collins. So thanks for joining me today in my living room um, while the studio is closed, live streaming four classes a day here on our Facebook page. So thanks for joining. Um, today is going to be a, what we call a pod flow two. It is, I would consider it like an intermediate vinyasa flow class. Um, typically with this style of class at the studio, we do it in a room that's heated at 95 degrees with extra humidity. So we're building up a lot of heat, we're sweating. Um, so now that we're doing it in our living rooms, it kind of changed the practice a little bit. But I thought for today, we could move through the different styles and variations of salutations um, that you find in most of your vinyasa style classes or even Ashtanga, definitely in Ashtanga. Um, so some of the ones we're gonna be moving through is our typical sun salutations A and B, Surya Namaskara A and B. Those are typically done at the beginning of classes. So they are used to help build up heat, build up strength um, at the beginning of class to help carry that heat and that strength kind of throughout the class. Um, then the other one we're going to move through is called some, hold on, some mudra namaskara, which is a salutation to the sea. I had not seen this one before, so it's fun. Um, it's short, sometimes you can, um, do it in place of a sun salutation A. So it is also used to help build up heat. So it's a different style. So we're gonna move through that one as well. Then we're gonna move through two different variations of the moon salutation. So Chandra Namaskara is what that is called in Sanskrit. Um, there's two different variations that I found. There are some similarities between the two variations, but they're both really fun. Um, and we kind of face a different direction than we typically do through our vinyasa flows. So it kind of changes our perspective a little bit, switches things up, which I think is always great within our practice. I tentatively have a flow put in there. I'm gonna kind of see how long it takes to get through these salutations. If we have a little bit of wiggle room, we'll move through a little bit of a flow um, and maybe a little bit of core. So we're gonna kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. If you're watching, Go ahead and say hello. Um, let me know how the sound and the lighting is. If I need to make any adjustments, I can. Um, but for today, really all you are going to need is your mat, maybe a bottle of water. You shouldn't need any sort of specific props. If you like to use a block, you can always have that handy, um, but it's certainly not needed. So, to start class though, let's start as we normally would. I want you to come seated towards the top of your mat in Sukhasana pose. So Sukhasana pose, for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna to turn towards you, but I want you guys to face the front of your mat. But it's cross-legged pose here, so I like to put my right shin in front, my left shin back behind it. It's just kind of habit for me. Honestly, you could do either way. Both feet are resting on the ground here. So you're not stacking them and you're almost pointing your toes here. That just kind of feels a little bit better on my knees. Hands root into the top of your thighs. Now we want to ground and root down into our hips. So remove any sort of real estate there. Really feel your connection with the earth. Feel it support you underneath and imagine you are growing roots beneath you. Now, as much as we're rooting down, we also want to grow. So let's lift up through the top of our head, draw your shoulders in line, or sorry, your ears in line with your shoulders. So oftentimes we sit with this head posture that is tilted forward. We wanna draw the ears back over the shoulders. This is the position that you should be moving about within your daily life. Close your eyes. Just come into your breath here, long inhales and exhales. Just finding our center, finding a connection with the stillness that is always offered throughout class. Now 
maybe setting an intention for class, if that's what you like to do, maybe thinking of one word or phrase that you want to repeat over and over to kind of get you through this class. Think of what that is right now. What are you drawing towards? Are you looking for something to help settle you, to ground you, give you some stability? Are you looking to expand, to open up, to find new things? A lot of times as I'm moving through my flow, I'll just repeat the words, I am strong, I am strong. And it is so very helpful. Just a couple more rounds of breath here. Bringing your breath down into the depths of your belly. And exhaling out your nose. <clears throat> now we're gonna take a little bit of movement here. So just some spinal rolls. So begin to roll towards the front, to the left, back behind, and then over to the right, creating a circle here with your shoulders, with your spine. Inhale as you draw forward, expanding through your chest. And exhale as you curl to the back, almost finding a cow, cow motion, cow to the front as you inhale. And exhale, cat-like spine, tuck your chin, find that flexion. Couple more rounds, moving counterclockwise. I love to do this at the beginning of class. It really helps to open up the spine. Then begin to move to the right, moving clockwise. Often throughout our day, we don't get these sort of movements within our spine. And it's so important to move your spine. As you grow older and age, it helps keep the mobility and the strength. So one more round here, inhale to the front, exhale to the back, and then come back to center. Just a few rounds of breath moving with our body. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, hands through, heart center, draw your thumbs to your chest. Two more, inhale. And exhale, finding that body, breath, and mind connection. Last one, inhale. Now this time on your exhale, side bend to the right, drop your right arm. Lean over to the right, stretching through your left side body. Now you can bend your elbow as much as you can, taking this as deep as you want. Inhale, back to center, reach overhead. Exhale, side bend to the left. Drop your left arm, reach with your right arm, stretching through the right side body. Inhale, back to center. Now this exhale, open arm twist to the right. Draw your right hand back. Eventually dropping your hands down. So I like to bring my left hand to my right knee, kickstand my right hand behind me to twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise back to center with your arms, with your gaze. And exhale, open arm twist to the left. Feeling the twist through your spine, dropping your right hand to your left knee and maybe twisting a little bit more. Be gentle here with the first twist in class. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, walk your hands forward, hinging at your hips. Maybe you draw your chin or your forehead down to the mat. Reach your fingers out in front of you. I feel this a lot in the back, in my low back, almost my SI joint. Breathe into that area. On your inhale, slowly walk back up to seated. Perfect, so from here, moving into tabletop, plant your hands, step back, one knee at a time. Now move through cat, cow, inhale, cat, or sorry, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, press the mat away. Move through two more rounds here at your own breath. Inhale, expand through your chest, cow. Exhale, cat, tuck your chin, curl your spine, inhale, cow. 
Exhale, cat. Now take any organic movement that you want. You can keep moving through your cat cow. Free for all here. You can twist it out. You can gaze over one shoulder at a time. Maybe you create barrel rolls with your hips. Just close your eyes here. Really feel what your body is calling for. Nobody is here to see you. Nobody is here to watch you. You don't need to feel goofy in what you're doing. Just move naturally and organically. Just a couple more rounds of breath here. And we'll meet back in tabletop position. Just building a little bit of heat to begin. Inhale, reach your right arm in front of you. Left leg kicks back behind you. And exhale, knee to elbow, crunch it in, press the mat away through your left hand. Two more times, inhale, expand and kick back. Exhale, knee to elbow, crunch it in. One more time, inhale, kick, stretch, reach. Exhale, crunch it in, hug your navel to your spine, hold here for one round of breath. Inhale, touching your knee to your elbow, pressing the mat away through your left hand. Hold here for your exhale. Inhale, kick back, extended tabletop. And exhale, downward facing, or sorry, tabletop to release. Other side here, inhale, left arm reaches out in front of you. Right leg kicks back, flex your right toes. Exhale, hug it in, elbow to knee. Crunch through your core, send your spine up to the sky. Inhale, expand, kick back. Exhale, hug it in, knee to elbow. Last one. Exhale, hug it in. Now we're gonna hold here for one round of breath. Isometric hold in, keeping that connection through your elbow and your knee, hold for your exhale. Inhale, extended tabletop. And exhale, back to tabletop. One more round of cat cow here. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale, press the mat away, send your hip high. Exhale, work your heels down towards the ground. Now we're gonna move through Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A to begin. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, step, seat to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, extended mountain, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, Tadasana, hands through heart center. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank and move through your chaturanga. Use your exhale to lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more rounds here. Keep breathing in your downward facing dog. Two more breaths. Press the mat away. Open up through your armpits, through your shoulders. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel, feet to hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana, root to rise. Exhale, hands through, heart center, Sama Sihiti. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Couple rounds of breath here in your down dog. Really find a wide grip through your fingers. Lifting up through the palm of your hand, press the mat away. 
draw your shoulder blades down your back and your hips up to the sky. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knee. Exhale, travel, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, high plank. Exhale, lower, low plank. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, in and out. You can always find a bend here through your knees. Moving along. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Reach your arms overhead. Now we're moving into Surya Namaskar B. On your exhale, sink down into chair pose. We're here for a full inhale. Reach your fingers high. Maybe take your gaze up. Weight in your heels. Exhale, hold here. Inhale, extended mountain reach. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Move through your chaturanga flow. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step through to lunge. Root your left heel into the ground. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Stay here and hold for your exhale. Keep the deep bend through your right knee. Inhale, reach up through your gaze, through your fingers. Exhale, chaturanga, hands down, step back to high plank and move through your own flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge. Root your right heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. And hold here on your exhale, settle into your left knee, root through the blade edge of your right foot. One more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Move here with your breath. We'll meet downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, chair pose. Sink it down. Sit through your hips, weight into your heels. Full inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, extended mountain, stand up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, move from high plank down to low plank. Upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. Inhale. Exhale, press the mat away. Inhale through your nose, send your hips high to the sky. Exhale, drop your chest. A little bit closer to the top of your thighs. One more round of breath. We're gonna do one more round. Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. Now a lot of people will do Sun Salutations, maybe 10 of them in the morning. 10 Sun Salutation A's, 10 Sun Salutation B's. That is going to be a good workout. So for today, we're doing about three, two to three of each just to get a warm up for the rest of those salutations. 
Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, chair pose. Hold here for a full inhale. Hold for an exhale. Inhale, extended mountain, stand up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Round of breath in. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge, step through. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Hold here, settle into your warrior one on your exhale. Inhale, reach with your gaze. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge, step through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one, right heel roots to the earth. Exhale, settle into your left knee, square your shoulders to the front of the space. Inhale, take your gaze up. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank to your low plank. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Another round. Exhale, release. Third breath here, fill up your lungs. Exhale, let it go. Now we're gonna move through the next salutation, Samudra Namaskar, a salutation to the sea to the water, to the fluctuations of the waves. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands draw through heart center. Here we go, inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Now this time on your exhale, squat down, keep your arms out in front of you. Now on our inhale, we're gonna roll back into plow, touching your toes to your fingers. And exhale, roll back up into a squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center, Sama CHT. So that's one round of Samudra Namaskar. So as you can tell, instead of doing a Chaturanga, we're rolling back into a plow pose, holding, and then coming back up into a squat. What you want to do is keep your arms out in front of you, and then as you roll back, you wanna have your fingers touch your toes. This is gonna help with your core. You're still gonna be building core here. Two more rounds of Samudra Namaskara. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale, roll back into plow. Exhale, squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, extended mountain, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, squat. Inhale, plow, roll back, touch your feet to your hands, both of them extended. Exhale, squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, hands through heart center. That one's really fun. Let's just do it one more time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat. You're balancing on your toes. Inhale, roll back, plow pose. Exhale, squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana, hands through heart center. Samudra Namaskar, salutation to the sea. Put that one in your back pocket. I really like that one. So I think for here, with the time, let's move through a short little flow. We have worked up our heartbeats. We've worked up a little bit of heat in my body. At least I know I have. If you still feel like you can do more, maybe do two or three push-ups before you move through that chaturanga. Maybe do a one-legged push-up from that chaturanga. Maybe try and jump back into a low chaturanga. Try some variations to amp it up a little bit since we don't have that extra heat to get us going. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, chaturanga flow, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Flowing for just a little bit. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, shift shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Again, shift forward, find that compression on the right side. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Now listen up, exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross it over, press the mat away, feel your strength. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge. Setting up for warrior one. Inhale, rise up, we've been here before. Exhale, just hold here, settle in to your right knee. Now we're gonna move into eagle arms, right arm under your left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arm. Hinge at your hips. Take the gaze back behind you. Now hug your right hip back to the midline. Most of the time it's gonna splay out to the side. Hug it back in. Now use your Breath, inhale, rise up, warrior one, release your arms. Exhale, warrior two, open it up, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, reverse warrior, paint the sky. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten both legs. Feel the stretch on the right side of your body. Exhale, Trikonasana, triangle proper. Inhale, reverse triangle, we were just there. Now listen up, exhale, tick-tock your arms. Now this is a big transition. We're launching off of our right foot. We're gonna be balancing back the back of our space. Inhale, launch, shooting star to the back. Right leg lifts, balancing on the left leg. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, right knee lifts and bends, both arms overhead. Exhale, figure four, sink it low, right ankle over your left knee, opening through the right hip. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, one-legged mountain, right knee is bent. Exhale, shooting star, again, we were just there. Inhale, arms out to a T, parallel through your feet. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana, wide leg, forward fold. Go ahead and hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, lunge, creep and crawl to the front of your space. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your left foot to meet your right, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, chair, Utkatasana. Sink through your hips, weight in your heels, hips work to the back of the space as you keep your chest lifted. Now from our chair, we're gonna move right into eagle pose. Right arm wraps under the left, right leg up and over the left leg. Finding eagle here, hugging everything to the midline, stacking your joints, so wrists over elbows, over knees, ankles. Lift up through your torso one more, inhale. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit lower. Now upper body is gonna stay the same. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, right knee lift. Exhale, warrior three, eagle arms, kick back through your right foot. Stamp through the heel, keep your chest lifted. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, release your arms. Exhale, figure four again. We've already been there, just opening up the hips a little more. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips as you sink low. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, one-legged mountain. Exhale, lunge, step it back with your right foot, drop your hands. Inhale, toe heel your left foot towards the edge of the space. Exhale, Malasana, step your right foot forward, sinking down into your hips. Press your palms together, and they're gonna open through your knees. One round of breath. Hold here for your exhale. Inhale, plant your hands, lift your hips high. Exhale, toe heel your feet back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now you have the option here. You can plant your hands and move back through a chaturanga. Or if you wanna take a crow pose, go ahead and find that here. Finding the strength of your arms. Squat on down, plant your hands under your shoulders, lift your hips high, knees up into your elbows. Now gaze forward, shift forward, maybe lift one leg or both. Hug your heels towards your glutes. Press them out away, gaze out in front of you. Holding here for crow. Now you can step, pop back, high plank, move through your chaturanga here. Your own variation, adding that extra push up, one legged variation. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale and exhale. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in, shift forward, feel your strength. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, find the compression on the left side. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist it across. Find that connection. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior one. Rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, eagle arm, left arm under your right. Inhale, lift up through your fingers and your gaze. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arms. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one, release your arms. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Pretty typical flow here. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle proper, reach. Feel that stretch on the right side. Inhale, reverse triangle. We've already been here before. Now exhale, tick tock your arms. We're setting up for that transition. Inhale, launch to the back of the space. 
shooting star, left leg lifts, left toes are flexed. Inhale, Ekapana Tadasana, left knee lifts and bends. Exhale, figure four. Left ankle crosses over your right knee and sink your hips back. Hands to the heart center, chest is lifted. Inhale, Ekapana Tadasana, left knee lifts. Exhale, shooting star, drop your left foot, keep those toes flexed. Inhale, step out to a T, feet are parallel. Exhale, wide leg, forward fold, prasarita, padatanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Now step your right foot to meet your left, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, chair, Utkatasana. Now we're gonna find our eagle on the other side. Left arm wraps under your right. Left leg kicks up. Wraps over your right leg, sit back into your hip, send your glutes back behind you, hug your joints in towards the midline, shoulders over your hips. Keep breathing. Use the exhale to sink a little bit deeper. Upper body stays the same. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, left knee lifts. Exhale, warrior three, Virabhadrasana three, eagle arms. Kick back with your left foot, stamp it back behind you. Keep your right knee, maybe micro bend. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Release your arms, left knee bent. Exhale, figure four, sink it low. Draw your thumbs to your chest. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, lift. Exhale, lunge, step it back, plant your hands. Inhale, toe heel your right foot off the side of the mat. Exhale, malasana, step your left foot to left pinky. Now press your palms together. Elbows come into your knees as you open and lift through your heart. I like to move from side to side here. I have really tight hips, so it feels really good to allow some movement. When you're ready to release, drop your hands. Inhale, lift your hips and toe heel your feet back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Option here, chaturanga or another option for crow. Plant your hands, lift your hips. Knees come to your armpits. Gaze forward, shift forward, lift through your toes, draw your heels towards your glutes, press the mat away and breathe. Hold and crow as long as you would like, then step or hop back into high plank and chaturanga is yours. Take your variation, move through it to build strength and heat, Meet in downward facing dog. Awesome work here. Three breaths in downward facing dog to start to lower the heart rate. Draw your shoulders down your back. Keep breathing. Now gaze to the top of your mat and step your feet to your hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to heart center. All righty, yogis. So we moved through sun salutation A, sun salutation B. We moved through salutation of the C, some mudra namaskar, and then we flowed for a little bit. So now we're gonna move through our two different variations of our Chandra Namaskar, which is moon salutations. So the cool thing about the moon salutations, well, there's a few of them. One thing is 
you don't see them that often in vinyasa classes. At least I haven't. I've been taking vinyasa classes for about eight years and I had never really seen um, this one variation of moon salutation. So we face a different direction. Typically in our vinyasa, we're facing forward and it's pretty static right there. For the moon salutation, turn to your left. Now for the first variation, we're coming to the middle of our mat. So long ways on your mat, facing forward, bring your hands to heart center. Go ahead and close your eyes. So the moon salutations are good to do towards the end of your day. So if you're going to start a practice of moving through sun salutations A or B at the beginning of your day, I recommend moving through moon salutations at the end. It is a um, a more gentle practice than the sun salutations. The reasoning for the sun salutations is again to build up that heat. Now we are trying to lower that heat. We're trying to calm it down a little bit, which is exactly why this is good to do at the end of the night. So hands to heart center, eyes are closed. Inhale, extended mountain, reach your arms overhead. Now interlace your fingers here. Release your pointer finger up and then cross your thumbs. So your arms are in line with your ears. This is a variation that you may see in hot class. So inhale, lift up through your fingers. Exhale, bend to the right. Draw your fingers to the right, feeling the stretch through your left side body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left, feel the stretch on the right side. Work your right hip out towards the right. Inhale, back to center, gaze up to your fingers. Exhale, slight back bend, draw your fingers back behind you, send your hips and your chest forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, step out with both feet, about four feet, arms to a T. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana, hinge forward. Bring your hands under your shoulders, work your chest in between your legs. We're going to hold here for a full inhale and hold for exhale. Bring your arms back out to a T. Keep your spine straight. Use your core. Inhale, rise back up to standing. And exhale, hands to your hips. We're going to turn our left toes 90 degrees to point towards the back of the space and bring your right toes in about 15 degrees or so. So your right foot's at an angle, left foot is facing square back behind you. Inhale, shift your shoulders to square to the back of the space. Lift up through your head. And exhale, pyramid. Parsvottanasana, keep a flat spine as you hinge forward and then drop your hands. We're gonna hold here for a full inhale and exhale. Hands come back to your hips, keep your, your spine flat. Inhale, rise back up and then turn to the right. Three pointed start, arms overhead, palms touch and then exhale, hands back down to your hips. Turn your right toes out to face the front side of your mat. Left toes turn in at an angle. Square your shoulders. Inhale, lift. And exhale, pyramid. Send your heart and your chest forward. Arms eventually reach down. Now you want to keep a long flat spine. So think chin to toes or chin to shin. You don't want to round in. Full round of breath. Maybe to take it deeper, you bend your elbows. Hands come back to your hips, use your core, inhale, rise back up. And then exhale, step your left foot to meet your right. Now we're standing towards the front of our mat. Inhale, extended mountain, reach your arms overhead. Again, interlace your fingers, release your pointer. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, back bend, draw your fingers back behind you. Inhale, back up to center. 
Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Now listen up. On your exhale, step back with your right foot. We're coming into a lunge. Drop your right knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Step forward, right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, go ahead and squat down. Bring your heels together, your toes point out. Knees are coming out. So this is Malasana, but it's a different variation. I want you to walk your hands out in front of you, dropping your chest down to the ground. Again, heels together, toes and knees point out. Feel this opening through your hips. To release, inhale, walk back up to Malasana. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Now on your exhale, step your left leg back into your lunge. Drop your left knee, inhale, low crescent lunge on Janayasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in here, hold on your exhale. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step through to lunge. Now step your left foot to meet your right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat. Now we're balancing on our toes. Bring your hands up to heart center. This is a big balancing posture. Work your knees together, your ankles together. Lift up through the top of your head. Now use your inhale, reach your arms overhead. Even more of a challenge. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Interlace your fingers here, release your pointer finger. Gaze up, exhale, back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Beautiful work, everybody. That was um, moon salutation, the first variation. So that was fun, it changes it up. We kind of start from the beginning, we do a little bit of wide leg stuff, move from front to the back, and then we end up at the front of the mat as we normally would in a vinyasa or a sun salutation A. Now to move through moon salutation, the second variation, I want you to come towards the top of your mat facing forward. Now again, turn to your left. So we're at the long way of the mat. However, we're at the top instead of the middle. So this is moon salutation two. This is my favorite one out of both of them. Inhale, extended mountain, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, side bend to the left, drop your left arm, reach with your right fingers. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, extended mountain, Urdhva Hisasana. Now hold here on your exhale. Inhale, lift your left knee high, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, goddess, step out, bend your knees. Now your, your thumb and your second finger come together, drawing your elbows down, deep bend in your knees. I like to find some movement here in your goddess as it's a deep hip opener. Keep your chest lifted, lift through the top of your head. Full round of inhale, hold for your exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Now exhale, left toes face behind you, right toes become parallel to the back end of the mat. Now as they're parallel, then you wanna move them a little bit more. So they're at about a 45 degree angle. Square, sorry, inhale, Left arm reaches out, 
Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose here. So right arm lifts high, left fingers work towards your left toes. Again, your left toes are square to the back of the mat. One more inhale. Now exhale, drop your right hand. So your hands frame your foot. Again, your right foot's at an angle. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, pyramid. Try and find it a little bit deeper. Inhale, lift your right heel, drop your right knee, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, lift your right knee. Now creep and crawl just to the inside of your left leg. You're coming into a skandasana, side surfer lunge. Bend your left knee, right leg is long and straight. Come up to balance one hand and then the other. Balancing on your left heel, lift through the top of your head, flex your right toes. One more round of breath. Exhale, plant your hands, creep and crawl to center. Inhale, center. Exhale, skandasana to the left, bend your right knee, sorry, to the right. Left leg is long and straight, flex one hand to heart center, and then the other, balancing here in our side surfer lunge. One more inhale, left lift through your head. Exhale, drop your hands. Inhale, lunge, front of the space, creep and crawl, lift your left heel, right toes point forward. Exhale, drop your left knee, low crescent lunge. Inhale, drop your hands, curl your left toes, lift your left knee. Now we're moving into a pyramid position from here. Drop your left heel, straighten your right knee, and then hinge forward, bend your elbows to take it deeper. Keep a flat spine here. Draw your right hand to your right ankle, inhale, triangle pose, lift your left hand high. Hold for a full round of breath. Use your core, inhale, rise up, arms to a T. And exhale, horse or goddess. Either option, you can bring your hands to heart center, hands out, thumbs and second fingers, elbows draw in. Hold here for an inhale. Sink a little bit deeper on your exhale. Now listen up, we're launching off of our right leg on to the back side of the mat. Inhale. Standing, back of the mat. Exhale, hand through, heart center. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, draw your hands through, heart center. So that was one complete round. As you can see, we move from the front to the back, from the front to the back again, and then we're gonna move our way back. So this is different than most, because usually in our vinyasas, we move through our right side first, followed by our left. This time we're doing left first, followed by right. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, extended. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, reach up high. Lift your right knee. Exhale, goddess pose. Sink it low. Full round of breath here. Hold or sink a little bit deeper on your exhale. Inhale, rise up. Arms to a T. Shoot your right toes towards the front of the space. Left toes start to face forward at an angle. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Hold here for a full round. On your exhale, drop your left hand down. Your hands will frame your foot. Again, left leg is at an angle. You're going to line up through your heel. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, sink it a little bit deeper for pyramid, Parsvottanasana. Inhale, lift your left heel, 
Drop your left knee, low crescent lunge. And exhale, plant your hands, lift your left knee. Inhale, side surfer lunge to the right. Creep and crawl to the inside of your right knee. Now come up into your balancing posture. One hand to heart center. Hold here one more round of breath. And exhale, drop your hands, creep and crawl back to center. And exhale, skandasana to the left. Bend your left knee, right leg is long and straight. Toes are flexed. Hands draw towards the midline. One round of breath. Hold for your exhale. Release your hands. Creep and crawl, lunge to the back of the space. Drop your right knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, lift up. Drop your right heel. Straighten your left knee. And exhale, Parsvottanasana pyramid. Left hand to left ankle. Inhale, triangle pose. Reach up through your right hand. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Exhale, back to goddess, toes out, heels in. Full round of breath here. Sink a little bit lower on your exhale. Launch off your left foot, stand, come standing top of the mat. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, extended. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Sama So here we are. We end up at the top of the mat, the same place that we started. So that was fun, right? Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed doing these salutations. Go ahead, since you're at the top of the mat, just go ahead and face towards the front and take a seat towards the middle of your mat with your legs kicked out in front of you. So we're gonna take some forward folds here. The first one is Janyu Shurshasana. So it's one-legged forehead to knee. So draw your right leg out to the side, bend your left knee, Bring the sole of your left foot into the crease of your right thigh here. Now right toes are flexed. Inhale, lift up through your fingers. Exhale, turn towards your toes and hinge at your hips. You wanna keep a flat spine. Keep it lifted. Keep your right toes flexed. And to take it deeper, just bend your elbows. Inhale, rise back up. And then change out your feet here. So left leg comes out, right knee bends. Keep the sole of your right foot into your left thigh. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn towards your left toes and fold forward. So think chin to shin, tonsils to toes. To take it deeper, bend through your elbows. Inhale, rise back up. Now we're gonna do a forward fold towards the front. So kick both legs out in front of you. Work your toes back behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the chest lifted. Pull through your collarbone. And take a deeper bend your elbows. One more round of breath. Hold it or sink it a little bit deeper. Inhale, slowly walk back up. Now we're gonna take a twist from here. So bend your right knee, draw your right foot to the outside edge of your left thigh. Now we're twisting to the right. So draw your right hand back, to you, almost using it as a kickstand. Lift up through your left hand. And then exhale, twist to the right. Bringing your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, using it as help to twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, lift through the top of your head. 
And exhale, take your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Maybe you find just a slight counter twist. And then release your right leg. Pedal it out a little bit. Bend your left knee. Take your left foot to the outside edge of your right foot, your right leg. Kickstand, left hand behind you. Inhale, reach up through your right hand. Exhale, twist to the left. Draw your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and push your left knee away, taking your gaze over your left shoulder, lifting through the top of your head. One more inhale. Stay for an exhale or take it a little bit deeper. Inhale back to center, maybe counter twist to the right. And release your legs. Now come lying onto your back. I like to bend my knees and slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Take a full body stretch. Reach your hands back behind you. Kick your feet out in front of you. You can do any final posture that you want to do. If you want to do soup, the Baddha Konasana legs, bring your soles together, knees open wide. You're welcome to move into a happy baby pose if you would like, sending the soles of your feet up, pulling down. And when you are done moving to any of these last postures, go ahead and meet me in Shavasana. Come lying on your back with your hands resting next to your body. I'm going to recommend rooting the palms of your hands down into the ground. Here in Colorado, we have a lot of wind today. So often when it's windy, we may find ourselves feeling a little unbalanced. Um, so I like to always find things that help root me down to where I'm at, keep me grounded. So here in your Shavasana, keep your eyes closed. Come back to your soft inhales and exhales. The natural rhythm of your breath, the rise of your inhales and the fall of your exhales. And hang out here for as long as you would like in your Shavasana. I'm going to recommend sticking around for 10 to 15 more inhales and exhales. It's been an honor and a privilege to guide you here through the comfort of my own living room. So I thank you so much for showing up today or if you're rewatching this at another time. Thank you so much. Thank yourself for showing up for yourself. The student in me honors and sees the teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste. Again, stay here in your Shavasana. We certainly don't get enough time of stillness. Thank you so much for joining today. I had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Happy Monday.